Yeah, we're gonna verbally attack you in about three seconds. One of you motherfuckers got sickle cell or something? 30 minute drive with fucking roller skates on. <laughs> Well, folks, welcome back. I'm your host, Alec, and this is another episode of... Cellar Dwellers. There's my uh, co-host, co actor Josh. I know Joshua. you guys missed us. Our third co-host, Casey, is uh, upstairs awaiting. Honestly. But in the meantime, we got some politics with... we got to cover. It's voting day. election day. It's election day. Uh -huh. I didn't mail in. I don't care. It's not going to count. No! Boo! Whatever. It's going to get thrown away or, I don't know, some dead guy will it's, vote for it's me. Just, it's just... It the, is what it is. It's just the midterm. Looks like Casey has something on his head I can't quite see from the light. Let's be honest. A midterm is just a distraction. Midterm is a good time. <laughs> some call uh -oh. it midterm. Oh, it's the bees, baby! It's recording. Just yep, it doesn't it's record recording. straight up. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the screen is looking at you doesn't mean the camera's yeah. looking at you. Casey had to yeah, shave, his, shave like his head from recent treatments, but uh. Whoa! <laughs> you look like you look like an anorexic Nate Diaz. Man, it's not funny. Yeah. What's going on, guys? <laughs> that yeah. thing, I can't see your hair. You're line, cutting off all of like, your hair, like I with can the tell hat. Where it is, you know, <laughs> it's perfectly hidden. This is my newest there hat in the hat collection. It's a good nice. hat, yeah. Wear it like a condom on Classic. the top. You have like the new style. That's a new style. <laughs> this is the way people are wearing it like hats. it's a fucking penis tipper, a penis reservoir yeah. on the top yep. of your head. <laughs> that's exactly. Fold them. Fold it over a little bit like idea. that. Fold it. I think that means something. Though. I think that's like street code. For, oh, you're done. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking it. Go bees. <laughs> go, go bees. They're on a good winning streak right now. They yeah, are. I think they uh, they lost the other night. Nope, they won nope. last night. Yeah. yeah, they won last night, but I they think lost in Toronto. Lost. Yeah, they have they have two losses, eleven wins. They're killing it. And my overall experience with Google search is honestly melancholy. So, can we go to Connecticut polls right now and check oh, how yes. Harry's doing? Uh, Mr. Aurora. Our editor obviously let the folks at home know that uh, I guess we don't endorse him. We thought we did. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we did, but we don't. I don't, we don't know even who, know who we're talking about. Uh, Harry. Yeah, so there's no votes in for anything, but we're rooting <laughs> for him. This was supposed to be a political live stream. Also, I introduced... You can't make Josh it a political live stream when the polls are still uh, open. Yeah, but I don't know what the fall? fuck that has to do with anything. Well, what do you mean? Well, we can still talk about politics. We don't I know. Wanted it. I want. Well, that's the thing is we would learn <laughs> together with the audience to get more young folks into politics. Mm, what politics are we going to be learning about today? Everything that they need. We need, people need, they have need, and they need it. <laughs> they, they absolutely need it. Like you, you, like you sound like that Fetterman guy yeah, that's was, running for office. <laughs> I was watching this chick from Texas today, and she, every answer that she answered was go to the polls and vote. <laughs> like, there would be interviewers asking her about pretty specific problems in Texas. Go to the polls, get your vote not taken away from you, lost in translation uh -huh. somewhere. We'll vote for you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I penciled in, I penciled Probably in actually my own question. The weird those, thing those for me. dumb civilians don't know much about politics either way. I feel bad way. because it's not, you know, it's some people's rights. Used to not, they weren't able to vote, such as women. Uh, yep. Yeah, they weren't that able was to a good vote. Day, but not these guys. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Hey, you're a winner, baby. <laughs> we got the front row tickets to the voting polls. You gotta polls. feel a little bit bad when yeah, you we don't do. vote, and you're like, well, my grandmother, who's dead and earned, earned Oh, she's voting, able. baby. She's, <laughs> she's voting this election. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh, yeah, keep an eye out on the ballots. Mm -hmm. I guarantee her name is in there. Two or three times, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Different middle initial. But they changed yeah, one little probably detail. Get it. Politics isn't a good thing to no, talk about. We're getting about. into it. That's all we're talking about this entire no, episode. I'm not, I, I actually refuse. penciled in my own question on the ballot. I was refuse. supposed to pencil in I somebody, mm -hmm. but I actually penciled in my own question. I said, what does this really have to do with me? <laughs> 
I'm waiting for a response, but I don't I think... I think you're going to have to write a letter to your local congressman. I also yeah. penciled in Harry Aurora <laughs> for state rep, and he does not live in Connecticut, no. nor is he no, state representative. he does live in Connecticut. Or, I mean, nor no. does he live in Mass. But you weren't voting in... <laughs> yeah, I guess you are learning something to... Oh. <laughs> that would sound good. Yeah, like... You watch, fucking kidding me? Watch the pillow. <laughs> yeah, right? seriously, the pillow. Paid a lot of money for that. No, but Harry, we hope you win. I don't, so actually, were we, I don't know his name. We emailed Harry, whoever this impersonator was quite a bit. Politician. What happened? Harry Aurora. We did? Who were we talking to? Our editor had to fucking let us know. Our editor said, this isn't the smartest thing you guys should be putting out. I think there. our fucking creative editor says we should shut the fuck up and move on with the inside dumb jokes. <laughs> that will be that guy. Tacks. He's the creative guy. The brass tacks. This being. national service wants humans to stop licking this toad. What video did you want us yeah. to dissect? Let's oh, get down well, to the brass tacks. You saw toads. the video. Did you welcome him? Yeah, I introduced, I swear to God, I did it super formal, like really, really uh, prompt, like. Okay. It was really good. <laughs> um, this video of a young woman just uh, hurling out a oh, couple. Oh, uh, saw that one. Yeah, that was no good. And where was that? That was University of Kentucky. Oh, what are they? The Blue Devils? Jeez. Something like that. Uh, that's. I think she catch that thing. Isn't that thing? Fucking. I thought they have a chicken or uh, some rooster as their man. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. Well, I don't Duke care. Is the blue I don't devils. care, yeah. Duke is the blue devil. But That's this right. girl, the reason I wanted to bring up the video is I, like, I thought it was horrible because for the folks at home, it's this college age girl. She's white, hurling the N word mm -hmm, around. White. white is the important part. Yep. Yeah. And she's like yelling at her RA or something there in a real scuffle, and she starts hurling the R word. And then she goes, like all the girls in the background are like, "Your life is over, sweetheart." <laughs> and she just goes, she just goes, "No, it ain't." <laughs> she was so confident. She was like leaning up against oh, the wall. She's like, geez. "No, my life ain't over." Yeah, as soon as she drives, you can hear multiple people in the video go, "Ooh!" <laughs> <laughs> like Dude, I don't just understand. letting them dig their own hole. That's what I'm saying. I don't understand with these people. They're so dumb and naive. It's ridiculous. It was a bad. Like, hey, we bad. get into some touchy things here, but we back ourselves up. Yeah. For the most part. And if we don't, we just cut it out. Yeah. We don't let the people hear it. No, we you don't guys, say things. don't want to hear that. You don't need to see that. We <laughs> <laughs> no. That's, we that, that's the marker to pause it. <laughs> we already got it. We already got to stop talking about it. Move on. I'm not talking Once about it's shit, done, I'm move laughing on. about it. I'm laughing. I can't have a good jolly time. I'm here mm -hmm. with my two buddies on a, what is it, Tuesday, Tuesday. night? Tuesday. Who's gay? There's like two hours of sunset in a day now. This is the happiest I get. Hey, so we talked about Mark's watch last week. That's uh, something to talk about. I mean, Mark kinda. viewed our story. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh. We're getting out the there. World. Mm -hmm. We're getting out there. Uh, he was talking about last podcast, uh, Tuesdays, I think, yeah. when he was like, Oh, if I've been on a podcast, that's like saying having sex with a girl I've had sex with. You don't want to do it. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I heard was, that, yeah. I was like, geez, so maybe that's not funny. get Mark on the podcast. Ooh. No, we got to get him on the podcast. Oh, I would still love it. I'd still love it. It'd I be, would love it. Even if we didn't post anywhere, we just, you know, kept it as a private interview. To whack off with it. So a conversation. <laughs> <That'd> be, <laughs> yeah. Our computers would be sticky. We wouldn't yeah, be able to awesome. edit after that. But be the last video ever. If he was here, he'd love that joke. I know. Ah, oh, man, you're sounding like he's dead. <laughs> God bless him. That's, miss him. That's Norm MacDonald. He's dead. He's dead. Deader than a sack of shit. The National Park. Oh, that. scrolling. Whoop. What I already we told you about this. They don't want people to stop lick toads the, anymore. Oh, yeah, I thought that said the road. Psychedelic you toads are die. just other toads. He sent, he sent me the world of t-shirts licking the subway subway oh, yeah. floor. You saw that? Uh huh. That was fucking disgusting. Did you see the other? Did I send you the other world of t-shirts video where he went to Harlem in the middle of the night and Nettie bopped? What's that? Uh, there was a there was a rapper named Nettie Bop and he got stabbed and Ooh. then the rapper from the opposing group made a fucking music video called and he said doing the netty bop and mm. it's a dance where you 
act like you're stabbing yourself. Oh, so World wow. of T-shirts got That's disrespectful. It's very fun. disrespectful to all of gang culture, especially in Harlem. And World of T-shirts got tricked of, into doing it in Harlem. In Harlem, in person, and he recorded it. It Ooh. was insane. Putting him in real max volume, like a lot max of danger. Volume. Stop with the max volume. This is Nettie Pop. Oh, we're Nettie, talking about Nettie, Nettie Bop. Oh. Nettie Bop. Was the guy? Was the guy's no, name? No, no. So I look like a real I idiot. need a I damn wasn't Nettie Pop. You need one. It I got sounds about like two it. fucking pounds of mucus in my nose. It sounds like it. Well, that's nothing out of the norm. <laughs> <laughs> I think, I think it need no. <laughs> Get in there. <laughs> what does that say? Enemas. He wants you to get an enema. Neti pot code, for your I'm ass. I'm saying that's code word. Neti pot's code word <laughs> for enema. Ah. Oh. Okay, Josh. We can help you out with that. <laughs> Casey knows a guy that knows a guy that sells enemas. <laughs> Yeah, what's the uh, the guy from Tool? <laughs> That's who sells me enemas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there an end to that one? <laughs> right there. So you guys ever hear about the flying the camel? <laughs> oh shit! No, why don't you tell the people about your fucking joke the other day? We're trying to write jokes back and forth in case he goes. All right, hear me out on this one. I'm sick and tired of hearing your bullshit jokes. So, like, you're used to, like, Indian guys in taxis and, like, like you know, mainly, like, Russians and Indians. But then, the, like, Egyptians. now Uber's making everything, like, really, like, diverse and stuff. And, like, I mean, what's up with that? Yeah, that's fucked. What the fuck does that mean? We could have... I said that Michael J. Fox looks like a shark when it's got a seal in its mouth. And that was nothing. And then, and then you, this guy just lists then you, every race and says they fucking drive for a while. Not living. only that, you, that, you hammered his Michael J. Fox joke away before saying that. Going, now watch this. Now the Michael this. J. Fox joke is funny. It's just, it's all in the delivery, man. <laughs> But I think you should, if you're comfortable to, I'm not going to force you into anything. But if you could tell the people at home, the camel and the flag uh, is summed up. What you you meant, don't have to if you don't want What he meant by that is you it's shouldn't a, be comfortable saying it. No, I think he's saying I should be very comfortable and he wants me to say it. I think you should do what you feel is true. You're saying what I feel is true to my heart. It's either that or I got a Bible quote I can throw up in the at bat real quick. Oh, no, we got to stop doing that, too. I'd, ra I'd rather do we, that. We have to rotate religions each Oh, I got gotcha. you. So go Buddhist. either Buddhist, Hebrew. Um, here, so Hebrew's a language. Really, I've so been really digging the, the old Hebrew quotes. I really like them. Um, I like reading them. I like trying to read. Um, Me this, too. This is one of my favorites. Klieg, 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 <laughs> du bist an Did you say this last week? You are smart, 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 no, but you are not no. so smart. See now, I'm not la allowing that. Find a new one. You can't. You just said that last week, dude. Yeah, but that was in private. I think that was a good one to share to the. That people. was not in private. That, that, that was that, that was live. I've heard that. I've heard clag, clag, clag. <laughs> How about this one? Yeshvat Heshvam Kirag Angin. How are you so fluent? I'm pretty good. Can I see this? The for salvation a is of God is the blink of an eye. Is it easy? Try to this read? one. This is an easy one. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? La fum zara agra. No, 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 no. La fum zara agra. Ah, according to the effort is the it's reward. Hebrew. Try uh, to read Hebrews like fucking lachaim, a traditional Jewish toast. Lachaim. The jam. The jam. <laughs> kind of sounds like the jam. Shout out Ari Shafir, new podcast special. New podcast special. <laughs> Not what it is. <laughs> that is uh, it is a stand-up comedy special. I was a little bit confused if it was a 1940s drama or if it was a comedy special. Why, with the candles in the backlight? With the title. At first, I was like, am I going to watch a biopic on a man who won't live through the Holocaust? <laughs> That's, well, his dad did, along with his grandfather. Dude, fucking Spoiler. Bert Kreischer's got that new movie coming out. That's pretty cool. I guess. I it's mean, like good a for real him. movie, but I mean, like it's it was like filmed a filmed in Russia, a real movie. But it's yeah. by like IMAX. legendary films, which they make like a shit ton of really big movies. They do, huh? Most so it's going to be like a 
movie like that's in movie theaters. Like that's crazy. That a movie comic. movie. Good for him. Yeah, like not just a YouTube. Not like thing. a Joe List movie. Joe List movie. I feel bad that it didn't do good. Me too. I do feel bad because he really liked that movie, and because he got to work with Louis C.K. It was about him. I never yeah. watched it. No, I gotta watch it. I gotta watch it for him. For him, yeah. For hims. That, uh, that's for hims. A sponsor hims. of our Those podcast. Are songs. I'm for hims is a sponsored podcast. So is Better Help. Better Help. Mm-hmm. Now we're starting to get. What's that new company that's going around now? What's well, that? The newer one has been Liquid IV. That yeah, popped Liquid up IV. within the last year. No, I, I, Liquid IV has been around for a while. Has Costco's had while. Liquid IV for Liquid a while. Death. Yeah, I haven't heard Liquid it in Death has been kicking Last up. week of Costco. That's his job, Atta folks boy. that don't know. Yeah. Friday is your last, last week. Friday is the last day. What, what are you going to do? Oh, jeez. You made a lot You made a lot of statements of things that you are going to do before you left there. Yeah, um, newsflash. <laughs> newsflash, half, all of them aren't going to happen. <laughs> I'm not going to bullshit you. Yeah. I'm not going to beat it around the bush, as one would say. That's good. No, no, that's good. But enough scrolling. What else you got flowing through the brain waves? Honestly, pretty boring week. What else is no? Yeah, it seems like it's that way every week. But now I'm scrolling through this website here, and I'm seeing a, a couple of things that are really piquing my interest. Like Bosnian woman marks her hundredth birthday by staging her own art exhibition. Congratulations! Congratulations! To her. Yeah. Congratulations. Oh, here we go, Matt. This was actually not too long ago in our area. The lady over yes. in Long Meadow that sent a swarm of angry bees mm-hmm, on the mm-hmm. police officers. We didn't talk about that. We didn't talk about that. We should talk about that. That's crazy. That's wild. She asked them, are you allergic to bees? And then released a fucking swarm of <laughs> bees on them. Who does that? And how Somebody. did she train the bees to go after them? Uh, a Nobody's lot. Nobody's thinking about that. The FBI. A lot of CNN honest. documentaries. You think so? <laughs> She succumbed to the bees to a lot of CNN documentaries. Yeah, they show them enough CNN, they stop humming, and they don't like honey no more. They go to vinegar. They go to vinegar, and then Flesh. next thing you know, they go to donuts. Yeah. <laughs> and it's game over for the boys in blue at that point. That sucks. And that's kind of racist of, of you to say that cops like donuts, because that's just a stereotype. Well, I was then going to move on to my next point of people from Longmeadow are pricks. <laughs> <laughs> That's code word for something else, huh, buddy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, it's code word for a few things on my mind that I'm thinking. Hey, but it's I'm always gonna cloudy with in one. Long Meadow, if you know what I mean. I don't. Cloudy with a chance of meatballs. You ever watch that movie? Yeah, I did. Mm-hmm. When I was really little. You guys multiple. seen it? I never seen it. Really? It wasn't that about great. It. I read it the was book. Okay. Some cool. It was cool watching it when you were like it was 10. more of my speed, you know, just shit kind of swimming around. Was, what was one of those other one book movies? Charlotte's Web? Charlotte's, Charlotte's Web. Web was a goodie. Mm-hmm. Real tearjerker. If you're, yeah, if you're, yeah, you're three pussy. years old. I was going to say, if you're youngin', if you're crying over Charlotte's Web that. now, I think no, you need to Marley write about me. I like cried that. over, Marley I cried me. over, <laughs> yeah, I'll cry over that. If you, you're going to cry over that if you keep doing that in the damn microphone. Unbelievable. Charlotte's Web. Beat your ass. No, I'm sick of the threats. I'm sick of the threats. Stripes. You come in here. File a lawsuit. File a lawsuit. You come in here with this. this I've been walking in this house and I've been attacked before (coughs) from nowhere. Many times. Unsuspecting. Well, I don't know. You use self defense. Well, I don't know. I don't know. You're improperly using self defense and you know that's a fact. And I have my attorney, Harry Aurora, on the the case. (laughs) He's gonna fucking ruin your day. Wait till I own an actual house and you got. I'm like, hey guys, you want to pop on over? And I like yeah. swing from like my my second floor window on. Like I'm gonna You're do like some crazy shit. Line. I'm gonna do some crazy shit. It's gonna be badass. <laughs> we got anything else besides jumping out of the second story window? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna like swing down and like fucking. I'll be able to climb line. on the counters. <laughs> Might jump off of them. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. First thing I do when I get a house and, like, everything's filled up and stocked in it, first thing I'm doing is I'm going to eat a bowl of cereal in the middle of the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to fucking whip the bowl across the kitchen. That's the first thing I'm doing. Make her clean it up. (laughs) Nah, leave it for, like, a day. (laughs) Hey, why don't live on the podcast? Why don't live on the podcast? This is always good. No, this is a good one. This is always awful. (laughs) What do we have? Ooh, 20 minutes. Live on the podcast. I want you to tell her your mind, your peace of mind. What were you you saying when we were editing? 
You, if she sits in yeah, line. you can't have anybody piping up in the audience anymore. Keep it's her. killing me. It's killing my mojo. Keep, keep her in line. <laughs> do it. God we gotta put it. up a sign. In her defense, there's she no can sign. do whatever she wants lawfully. This guy, you should have heard lawfully. him. You should have heard him last week. He was, he heard you piping up. He said, why the fuck did she have to say that? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't say that. Girl. Every Russell behind the camera, Al go, God Damn it! <laughs> it's her again. <laughs> we need her to sit by the fish tank next episode. That's when the crowd gets bigger, though. <laughs> yeah, that's when we have pews. Oh, or hell, that, that was just something that was on my mind. It came to. Oh yeah, no, we love our audience. It's the only audience we ever have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I know it was just a goof and a gaff. Really? They know it's just a goof oh, yeah. and a gaff. Oh yeah. Don't worry about it. No, but I, no, I'm not worried, buddy. But um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have one audience member, sometimes two. On rare occasions. Maybe three is a record. I was going to say three will be our record. Three is a record. Maybe one day we'll have, like, you know, a good group of six <laughs> down here, like regulars. Podcast yeah, regulars. So. How Neighbors. many times, uh, I don't think the folks at home know this, how many times have I podcast bluffed you guys? Right, they, hey, come on over. We're gonna record, and then oh, I yeah. just Too many I, tra- times. I trap you upstairs, and we don't record. What do you feel about it? You hate me for it? Half, well, we were we were having a good time. We were rolling. Like, we normally have yeah, a guy. It's not like I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah, and sometimes it's better to just have a good time and relax. Yeah, long work week. Oh, there you go. New new day of the weekend. Yeah, we Lock passed our on. test for our new job. That's mm-hmm. something cool. What a woozy! Ooh, that job that was hard. Oof. Couple steps, <laughs> couple lunges. I restarted Seinfeld. A lot of steps. From the beginning. There you go. I think I'm on episode. I haven't finished it the second time round, but I think I'm on like season four. Mm. You can mm. rip through them. It's a goodie. Oh, and it's awesome because every episode you know what you're getting into. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, and it's mindless. It's like it's like I like the one jokes. where uh, what's her name's going around when Elaine. they're yeah when they're all going around the parking garage and she's got the goldfish. Oh yeah, and she's trying to find her car and they just the whole episode they're just in a parking garage in the mall. <laughs> That's just genius. Walking around. That show is literally genius. Yeah, it's super smart and nobody would like it nowadays probably. I don't think so. No, I think I don't people. Know. No, I think. I don't people, think anyone. I think as people get older, kids yeah. our age are starting to realize it more. Like Kaylee didn't like it, and then I slapped it on, and she was like, "Oh wait, this is just like things that happen throughout the day to everybody." It's I was like, like, "Yeah, a, that's that's." It's kind of like adult cartoons. You know what I mean? I was like, "That's what's funny about it, Jerry. <laughs> that's what it is. That that." The whole thing. But it's like, yeah. it's the same thing every time. Like, it's exactly. the same thing with Spongebob. We're like, Spongebob's the same thing every time. Exactly. Like, you know, Kramer's going to bust in through the door eventually. Yeah, and you just know what you're getting into. Yeah, people have a problem with that nowadays. What do you mean? Things like that. I don't think that show. You're right. They need instant with, gratification. With how mundane the subject matter usually was, I don't think that show would be I think, something that would be made nowadays. I think if you related it to nowadays uh, uh, things, I think it'd be funny because I've seen TikToks of people doing that. Of making it like 2022 Dude, you know now? Seinfeld and it's funny. Yeah, it is funny. Yeah. It's I a good it, format. So I, think for... it, I think it'd work. I think it could. I don't think it would be as big. No, it couldn't. No. It would never be as because big. Because it was just perfect timing. It's yeah, just, it's people have different brains now. That too. Yeah, it's, people like SNL. It's a different. Yeah, which is insane to me. I hate SNL. I don't it understand. Used to be so good. I don't understand how that show's yeah. still going. All the old clips. And you know, there's they're funny. There's still people out there that wish to be on that. Like that's their like our goal is to just do our own thing. I would never be on SNL. Our, yeah, we our, never. our goal is to like do our own thing. You know, if we get a big gig, we get a big gig doing something, yeah, but we're not gonna sell ourselves out like that. Yeah. That is one thing I've never heard you guys talk about is having a specific goal besides I guess Mark Norman. Well, no, I'm, I just want to do my own thing. I want to be my own, my own. I want to do it the way they've done it, the way the guys yeah, have done it. That's really the only way it should be done. There shouldn't be a. Well, no, everyone's trying to get on a TV show or line. make a movie. Yeah. That's like people's end goals. My end goal is just do comedy. Throw that's a couple all. specials out. Exactly. Specials are the big thing. 
That and albums. I'm telling you. Yeah, albums are cool because I listen to them at work. That's what I'm perfect. saying, and yeah. I, I'm thinking people are going to be getting into those more. You ever hear Mar or uh, Norm Macdonald has one where it's just like scenarios that he acted out. Is it? It's so wacky. Is it funny? It's so funny. Of course it's so it is. different. Of course it's Anything funny. he did was funny. His My favorite joke that he ever made was all the time when somebody would ask him, what's your favorite comedian, the best comedian right now? He'd go, Amy Schumer, hands down. <laughs> and they would believe him. He would have him so bullshitted. But comedians would sit back and be like, Amy Schumer's the Unfortunately, worst. Unfortunately, everyone that we like is like friends with Amy Schumer. I know. Well, it's because they all came up together. Mm. Yeah, it's the same generation. Mm. I think she knows that she's not that funny, but what she says, it sells. You know who's not funny? It does. Chelsea it just, Handler. You ever heard that bitch talk? I don't, to be honest, I don't really get too much into the female comics. I think some of them are funny. Christina P's all right. Ah, uh, okay. she's good. I couldn't watch her last special. I watched her last one, and I thought it was pretty good. I couldn't. I, I didn't get why like like people like it, but yeah, it's I, didn't, just a, it's I thought that it was pretty funny, but. I don't know. It just wasn't for me. Yeah, it's not bad to have a different audience. Like, if it's for different people, that's. Yeah. And it's cool that some of these bigger comedians that did do TV and stuff are realizing, like, that stand-up is kind of... The way to go. Uptick. Yeah. So, like, guys like Nick Swartzen, where he did all those movies and shit, and now, like, he's just doing stand-up again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, and he's funny as shit. Like, I always just thought he was a corny-ass movie, like, background guy. Me as well. I had that. I'm, are you sure Image he came man. back to comedy? Like, this is a new thing for him? Like, I'm pretty no, sure he, he did, did it when he was young. Before. Yeah, but, like... He did a lot of movies, a mm. shit ton of movies. Like, he didn't have, like there's no way he had that much time for stand-up. Yeah. Now he, like, posts dates, like, every day. Hmm. He's got a new date every day. Speaking about dates, you guys hear about the fly and the camel and the sandstorm? <laughs> if I got two minutes, hello. He told it in four minutes yesterday. Ah, uh, well, you buckle up. Tell the ten-minute version. We'll cut it right after you start talking. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it short and sweet. So, take yourselves over to the middle, the Middle East of the world, right? And you know that camels mainly the way that people travel over there. And what are the what are the hats that the people wear over there called, Alec? Hijabs. Hijabs. So religious. Yeah. So that's like the main thing so there's flies in america we gotta cut it we're done i can't do it i can't do it we're starting the new one turn the camera off. <laughs> turn the camera off. no that's not the sound the fly turn made the in this off. joke we're done <laughs> we're done <laughs> that is not that I is not the it. sound that the fly made in this joke because <laughs> it has a hijab on it makes a different sound I can't do the joke right now. I can't do it. I'm not feeling it. Alex said if I'm comfortable. Are you realizing it's going to ruin your salvation? It's going to be an intermission nope. joke. Oh, hell no. None of the bass boosted ones, though, though. Think about it. None I know. Of the bass I, boosted know ones. I know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think it was gonna be. Come on, dude. I didn't think it was gonna be. As if that mic wasn't bass boosted enough. Alright, that's gonna be loud as fuck. And copyright. Oh, it is. I turned it down, though, so it was not long enough. You're gonna get us sued. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, guys. Right, You'll still was, be able to watch. That was a good one. <laughs> I'll just chime in every now and again, you know? Keep my eyes open. <laughs> like I've been doing. Instead of playing Tetris, I'll play this. Keep your eyes, keep your options wide open. All right, well, I'll spread it out. What soundboard is Get that? off the soundboard for a second and help me out here. What do we got? Look at this. I found this on the street. A wallet. Oh. Uh, is that in the chair? Uh, it was on the street. The world may I never figured, know. I figure we can go through it live on the podcast. Go ahead. We got all right. We got from the owner. A lot of gift cards. A note for Black Jungle Exotic, <laughs> Josh. That's the a note. Josh. Venus flytrap. Sure it is. I don't buy it for a second. I think it it's is. damn weed and drugs. I think it's your. That should be a receipt. He's for got the a Venus gift card trap. for Buffalo Wild Wings. I was eyeing this yellow one. Yeah, I can't that. eat there anymore. So that's useless. <laughs> What do we got here? This thing, dude, it's you're carrying some up. heat. Uh, a scorecard for dicks. Hell yeah. 
Oh, you well, don't have the gold he's one, He's got do a you? reloadable <laughs> game card for... You never know when you're going to need that. Esports <laughs> at Cinemark <laughs> locations. That's always good to have around. I think you need to clean this out there. Sport. It's good to have a lot of weight in your wallet so people think... I think these are the good ones. Cabela's. Away with stuff. Oh, Subway. Domino's. You got you got all the fast food joints? I mean, yeah, I can't really use those ones up anymore, you know? I might have to start five, giving them away. Yeah, guys. I would probably hand them out. Five guys. Feel Flip free to, them. Flip them. I can't eat the five guys. Can't eat Subway. Buffalo can't eat Wild Domino's. Wings. Can't eat Buffalo Wild Wings. Gonna you could get something out of Gonna need that Cumbies one back, though. Yeah, we'll put that back in the old Everything wallet. else is gone. You want the five guys one? I don't want it. <laughs> Wait, you're just I can't it have it. You can't eat There's it. There's literally no yeah, reason to have it. Buffalo Wild Wings and Alrighty. five guys. Woohoo! I feel Subway? like I want raffle, baby. This thing's awesome. You did. I don't like Subway. You can have Subway. I'll what probably, about Domino's? I, I can think you eat Domino's? I can't eat Domino's. I think for I the greater good one. of uh, America, we should probably throw the Subway one out. They have uh, yeah. formaldehyde in here. You want this Visa gift card? No. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. You can't, you can't eat, eat money. I can't eat there. <laughs> Got my wallet. Wait a second. No, we had some ones over here that were on it. Was it in the chair? Because I'm pretty sure it was. No, it was on the ground outside. It was wherever. Yeah, you can have your wallet back. Yeah, I think stop my sentence there. <laughs> well, hey, if I didn't open it up, I would have never gotten this Domino's card. Thanks, Sean. Yeah, you probably uh, like. I don't know how much it would be on there. it off of his demise. I have no clue how much would be on there. Probably like a couple, couple bucks. You're going to get cents. like $5 max. And $5 is $5 in this day. I think it was written on there. That's a gallon Price. of gas. It is. It's more than a gallon of gas. It's going to be a half gallon in a week. Yeah. That's ridiculous. The way these right rates are going, unbelievable. Let's get back into politics. Let's not get back into politics. I was so Did we ever get we into politics this episode? I think we uh, dabbled. I think we tried to. I think dabble right. would be the word. Dude, we didn't dabble in politics. We just said a bunch of random <laughs> shit that made no sense. That's not talking politics. We talked we just about said, politics. And you want to get into the gritty? Who would you vote for? Who would I vote for? Yeah. Anybody who had like a weird party for the most part. It's so like the moose party. Like Green Rainbow. Uh, like Bull Moose. I'm not saying that's weird. Oh, it is. But I'm saying, you know, it's it's different. What's wrong with the Green Rainbow? I actually, I might join up. Because <laughs> bless, bless you. Because you. Like, the words green, you. the two words Green Rainbow are contradictory. Since yeah, Green is in the fucking green. rainbow. Yeah, that does make sense. Yeah, it is a little bit contradictory. I don't think that's a word. I think and a green contradict- rainbow would just be multiple shades. I think you really? contradicted yourself. I'm pretty sure that's a word. What? Contradictory? No. There's no way that's in the English vocabulary. Contradictioning. Contradictory. What the fuck? I'm a fucking definition book over here. A thesaurus, one would say. I got a lot of words that come at me, mm. and sometimes I let them rattle around instead of spinning them, you know, <laughs> dropping them out my ear. I. Let them flow out sometimes or keep them up there for a couple days. You like save it for a rainy day. Eloquent yeah. Al. Then once you use it, you forget That's what it again. Me, yeah. You, or do you I attend? forget it until I pick up a new word and I'm like, this word is way better than the last one. <laughs> ah, I got you. I did the same thing. I was a little kid. I first started talking. I worked my way up from like, ah. Yeah. And then I, you know, I expanded my vocabulary. Mm. From yeah. There. You put letters when, together. When, what was your first memory of life? Do you remember your first memory? As, think as way back. back as you can. I had mine come up in my head the other day. You did? I did. What was I it remember like? it through and through. It was with my mom and I think my dad at the park, at Stanley Park. And you know where there's that big world map on the ground? Yep. I swear to God, one of my parents said, point to America. And I pointed to Russia. You're, yeah, okay. So and then I, I lot. just I remember that day on I knew my geography pretty much a hundred percent. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I know where everything. Did you is. know your place in yeah, life from that point forward? Yourself. Yeah, I would go to that map almost every day, study it, take notes. Wow. It was only two and a half or something. Smart kid. Yeah, but my early mem- earliest memory was probably twelve and a half or two and a half. Twelve oh, and a half. Wow, that time you flies. You are a dyslexic Ooh. piece of shit. <laughs> Verbal dyslexia. It's a real bitch. I bet it is. Hey, well, Big Y could help. With ver- verbal dyslexia? No, no, no. Good good prices on meats. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Is 
soundboard. <laughs> I got nothing. Neither do I. Ooh, okay. It's not very good ones. Yeah, no. It's a dead night. Not a lot going on. Okay, Bobby Schmurda, relax there. Oh, I got ya. What do you think tap water is? It's a gay bomb, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alex Jones has some fucking crazy Go over here, things. coward. He has said some crazy <laughs> things. Chasing people. I don't like them putting chemicals in the water that turn the friggin' frogs gay. Uh, <laughs> do you understand classic. that? <laughs> So he dealt with the repercussions of that clip for a few years. Yeah, he's dealing with the repercussions of the Sandy Hook clips now, right? Uh -huh. He's got. I'll be honest with you. <laughs> That's one of my favorite Eric Andre bits was when he went to Al Alex, Alex Jones, Jones thing. Yeah, and he goes, what "Coachella you sucks this year." This guy, this get is back the guy, to the Daily Show. This is the guy from the Daily Show. Bring him on up here. Well, I'm not have from sex the Daily with my Show. Wife. I'm from MySpace. <laughs> Now here's my hotel room key. I want you to fuck my wife. <laughs> You're not Martin Luther King. You're not. Oh man, classic, classic. Eric classic Andre stuff. had some great bits. And the he best really part was him at all. duct taping the mic to the pole to get up there in the first place. I know. Yeah, he had like a twenty foot little, long pole. Little things like that. that I and that's that because show. he got. That's probably my favorite. That's because show. he wasn't allowed in the RNC mm -hmm. because he got kicked out of the DNC. Yep. Yeah, they didn't really like him going to political events. I wonder why. At maybe the RNC maybe it was because he asked that one lady if she was anti-abortion. <laughs> <laughs> Rascal Flats guy. Oh my God. Oh wait, that was the RNC. That was at the RNC, yeah. It was the he DN went in before. Yeah, he got it. It was the DNC he wasn't allowed at. Yeah, they didn't want him in because he stayed outside asking people to smell this sock that he oh. said that he found in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, and he was having sex with Hillary Clinton, yep. who happened to be Donald Trump. <laughs> The yeah. whole time. <laughs> that show was fucking crazy. Amazing. Oh, my God. You, was it the best thing to be watching at 14? Yes. Better than doing acid. <laughs> equivalent, Similar. Equivalent, Similar. I'd say. Similar to doing acid. The camera Exposure. bit when he's taking pictures of the girl, and then the guy walks by, and he pulls down the camera, and he's got one eye in the middle of his forehead. Bang the toll. <laughs> Bang the toll. Ignore them, Nancy. <laughs> you you look beautiful. The camera shutter. <laughs> Convinced. Those bits were so convinced, convinced the man. The best is when he had the bed bugs mattress and he was chasing the lady. Don't run into traffic. <laughs> All of his bits were like I never watched one of those street skits and I was like, nah, that one wasn't that good. Like they're fucking so funny. The remember the cat burglar one? Oh, that shit all the time. Yeah, boobay, yeah, boobay, yeah, boobay. Oh, that was fucking bad. bird up. The lady sticking it. That was one of the first bird ups. Yeah. Bird up the worst show on television. Oh, like it was just amazing how he yeah, did it, was it all. So fucking, it was just so different from. That's what I'm saying. He reinvented it all. Like he changed it up so much. Yeah, Tim and Eric was a uh, kind of paved the way. There it is. I'm on top of it. I'm gonna be quick with this. Probably thing. copyrighted. Also, no. More than likely, no. That's. I don't think so. It's all his stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for keeping that one at a low volume. I kind of figured that one was going to be a little loud. Thank you for that. I got you, bud. But, uh, <laughs> I don't know. What do we do? Do we end it off here? Do we call it quits? I what mean, are we at? We're at 40, 40? minutes. It's not keep, bad. Do we keep shoving it down their throats? No, I think we call it quits yeah. here. Yeah. <laughs> Bad to the bone, baby. Hell yeah. Yeah, I say we just call it. I mean, yeah. I went over everything. All right, see you later.